Hello everyone, welcome to Porterfield Run Farm. Uh, a little behind on a few things I wanted to say here. First of all, I wanna give a big thanks to everybody who came and helped out with the processing of the chickens. That was a big help. Uh, without it, without you guys, we could not have accomplished that for sure. It's one thing to go out there and move them daily on pasture to get fresh grass and uh, feed them twice a day and keep the water up. But it's a whole other thing to do the processing. So again, we really appreciate it. Uh, to the customers out there, we appreciate you all as well for sticking with us through this season and over the course of the past year and a half. It's uh, been some struggling times for everyone, uh, definitely difficult times. And uh, I just want to thank you all so much for sticking with us through all that, uh, through all those fiascos that have occurred in the past. One other thing is that uh, the chickens are no longer on pasture. They're back in the barn. We will have some of the pastured, e pastured eggs for sale as we do still have some of those in the refrigerator from when they were in we're on pasture, <laughs> but uh, just keep that in mind. And we are gonna go ahead and stick with the non-GMO soy-free feed for the moment. Uh, we've got actually plenty of it right now to get them through probably most of the winter. So we're gonna stick with that feed for right now and uh, see how it goes. <clears throat> now, as far as what we're gonna have at the farmer's market, I'll be able to provide you with a list this time, the kind of a, the benefit of provi providing you these videos on a Thursday instead of a Wednesday. So we're gonna have the salad mix, eggs, broccolini, Kale, French breakfast radish, Swiss chard, hackerai turnips, beets, onions, carrots, and this time we're actually going to have some spinach. So keep your eyes open for all those products. And also don't forget the uh, chicken. We have the frozen chicken that we're uh, raised and processed here on farm as well. But uh, just make sure you keep an eye on all that stuff. And we will hopefully have some of the spinach at the stores after everything is said and done. If we sell it at the farmer's market, then it won't make it to the stores. That's also kind of how it's gone this season. Uh, we've been taking all of our product to the farmer's market. Your first opportunity, of course, is to get it online on our online store. But that's the way we've been going about that one. So long and short, that's, that's the best way to go ahead and get first pick of everything. We can uh, deliver that to you in Franklin County, or you can pick it up at the South County Seasonal Farmer's Market for your online order. So anyway, long and short, we've been taking everything to the farmer's market and whatever we've sold out at the farmer's market has not been able to make it to the shelves of the stores. But one of the things we have done this year is we've increased the salad production itself. So the good news about that is we're having less spoilage than what we've ever had before, which is very nice. And we know that y'all really enjoy the salad. So we've kind of made those decisions and rolled on with that. Well, guys, again, we greatly appreciate all y'all so much, uh, all of your help, whether it's uh, helping us here on the farm or also being a customer of ours, it's a big help. Well, thank you all so much. A little short one here today. Just kind of wanted to tell you what's going on with all that. We appreciate it. Y'all have a good one.